Hello, I am Haiyan Xu from the Institute of Basic Medical Sciences, Chinese Academy of Medical Sciences, and Peking Union Medical College. I would like to introduce our latest research work that is the arsenic sulfide nanoformulation induces aerosteroid differentiation in chronic myeloid leukemia cells through degradation of BCR-ABL. As we know that the arsenic sulfide is a mineral drug also called Rialga. It can be orally administrated, and so far, its single or combined formulation have been demonstrated certain effective in APL treatment. However, arsenic sulfide in its raw form is poorly soluble in neutral or acetic acrid solutions. Only the leachable content is bioavailable, so it has extremely low bioavailability. Chronic myeloid leukemia is a myeloproliferative disorder due to the existence of BCR-ABL fusion protein that protects the cells from apoptosis, leading to the constant proliferation of undifferentiated stem cells. So our aim is to figure out whether new effect, therapeutic effects can be exerted upon CML when Rialga crystals fall into nanoscale and become dispersible in a neutral aqueous solution. So first we used a hot melting extrusion technique to blend and screw the original arsenic sulfide crystals and hydrophilic polymers to prepare a nanoformulation we called double E arsenic sulfide. And you can see that it was dissolvable in a saline, and the average hydrodynamic diameter of the particulate was about 470 nanometer. First of all, we can see that the double E arsenic sulfide reduced the total amount of BCRBL protein that stayed unchanged after treated with imatinib, suggesting that double E arsenic sulfide interacted with BCRBL in a different mechanism from imatinib. And at the same time, the double E arsenic sulfide increased the benzidine staining positive and the CD235A expression in K562 cell line, as well as in the bone marrow mononuclear cells from CML patients. And this is a very new effect for Rialga in nanoscale and is of great significance for the treatment of leukemia because by this way, the leukemia cells can be induced to differentiate towards red blood cells at low cytotoxic concentrations, but also apoptosis by the nanoparticles at high doses. But because it acted in a different way from imatinib, the double E arsenic sulfide is promising as a supplementary therapy option for CML patients. In a mechanistic study, we demonstrated that the double E arsenic sulfide induced autophagy prior to the BCR-ABL elimination. As you can see that the expression of LCB2 began to increase only after one hour of uh, incubation, while BCR-ABL remained unchanged at that time point. So it was also observed that the double E arsenic sulfide could scavenge RS in the cells effectively at the very beginning of the incubation due to its interesting reducibility. So in conclusion, we suggested that the reduction of RS triggered autophagy and the autophagy resulted in the degradation of BCR-ABL, which led to the arrhythmia differentiation in the CML cells, so, uh, which is of significance to CML treatment. Thank you for your attention.